Hello crazy coders, today we will create a short python program which will allow us to retrieve live score of a cricket match from a web page. For this we will make use of two modules, one request and second beautiful soup. So let's install those modules in our computer using pip install command, open your vs code terminal and type the following commands. So after installation, I have created a new python file and named it livecricketscore.py. I have added one comment. Uh, this is the URL of a web page from which we're gonna retrieve the live cricket score. So yeah, what is XML? Uh, XML extensible markup language is a markup language that defines a set of rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human readable and machine readable. Basically, it's a markup language that formats document in such a way that it's easier to retrieve required information. Let's visit the URL to get, get a glimpse of what it is so this is the your xml web page and the data which we're going to retrieve is in the description tag from second description tag uh, so yeah let's uh, head towards the editor and start coding so the first thing i want to import is request and after this i want to import from ps4 import beautiful soup so yeah what is request uh, request is an http library so http provides guidelines or rules for data communication on internet so to retrieve data of this web page we will have to give it a get request and uh, a beautiful soup is a data structure representing a past html or xml document so after retrieving the data uh, in XML format, we'll pass it to the beautiful soup. It will make a data structure out of it, which is known as parse tree. Basically, it groups data according to the tags for easy retrieval of data from required tags. So here the data in the description tag is what we are concerned with. So now let's move on. I will create a variable named URL to store this URL. and uh, I'll remove this comment I will put a get request which can be done using requests dot get and I have to just pass the URL so now I will create a variable r to store the request information now after giving a get request uh, I want to make sure that w is my request successful or not uh, for that uh, there is a property uh, which is r dot status code so if it's equal to 200 then it means that uh, the request was successful and it got the data but if uh, the request was not successful I want to again request so for that I will create a while loop with score condition not equal to 0 and if it's not equal to 0 I will request again so for that I will uh, repeat that statement so yeah this will uh, loop will run until uh, r dot status code is equal to 200 which means we got the data so after getting the data uh, we can do is so i will make a variable named soup uh, which will form a data structure and i will call beautiful soup it takes two things one the data uh, of xml or html format which is uh, stored in r dot text and the second thing it takes is HTML parser so yeah this is the same thing it groups uh, the data according to tags so now what we can do is we can add we can get the data of a required tag by using find all function for that I will use the uh, variable data and I can just do soup dot find all this find all this find all and I can just provide the uh, name of the tag which is description so now after getting it uh, I know that uh, the live score is from the second uh, description tag so for that I will uh, create a variable score and I will get the second description tag information and text so I just want the text now yeah 
because it is second which means indexing start from zero so i will be accessing second information now i can just print the scope so let's see how it works a program is completed So as you can see, I was able to retrieve the score uh, which from the web page. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, that's it from this video. Uh, again, we will catch you up in the next one.